So for uh, many years, as I uh, as we travel and things like that, um, every time we pass an old building, it's always we always touch it. Oh, uh, he doesn't need a mic. He's a, he's a puppet. And, uh, so we uh, we touch buildings and we like to feel buildings and uh, try to understand where things are coming from. So. Uh, recently, there's been a lot of images going online about uh, Toronto history, Toronto this and that, and uh, so we decided to take it one step further. Uh, some of these uh, locations you probably recognize if you live in the city, um, but we felt um, it was important to not just view these and, and sort of appreciate the history of, of the city, uh, but to what, what can we do to to go out and. Uh, uh, to find these buildings, so I came up with this, uh, with this uh, scavenger hunt called Blocks. So what Blocks is, is uh, it could be a dad, but it could be just a grown-up and a child, uh, hopefully like somebody, a child, you know. Uh, and uh, we're working around legal things right now. But um, each, each, each uh, team gets a, uh, a package full of photos of history, uh, historical Toronto sites uh, or neighborhoods. And uh, so uh, what we do is we have five hours to find these buildings in Toronto. So it's, it's a pretty large scavenger hunt. And uh, the, we came up with the idea of like the more complicated uh, the location is or, or the more precise you are to the same footprint uh, from 100 years ago, the more pain, uh, points you accumulate. And uh, I just wanted to ask Sacco like, what he felt about the, about the project too. So. Hello. I thought this would be a good experience for people who want to learn more about their neighborhoods and where they were born and raised in Toronto. I was born in Kensington Market. I didn't know much about it at first, so... I thought this would be good for me to learn more about where I was born and such. Yeah, so um, uh, we, we went to the city archives and found uh, photos of Kensington. And we just walked around the neighborhood. Uh, we found out like five buildings were torn down. There's a parking lot there now. Um, but it wasn't only a learning experience for me, but it was a way to bring out my child, to, for him to understand his neighborhood, his city. Um, and we continue on. So there's going to be like a, um, like some of these photos you notice had addresses and things. So the way this game works is in a point system. So if you're given an address, it's not much of a challenge uh, to go find these buildings. So you only get one point for that. So the circle expands. And the more difficult photos... Oh, so here's the glass dome where we are right now. This is a perfect example of how this... Uh, how this works is uh, some of the buildings are still there that you might find, but the address you might go to, you'll find something else. And I think that was a, uh, another photo that we took on College Street was that, uh, uh, that's U of T, um, was that we started picking out what was there and what wasn't there. So, and it, it was for me to explain to Saka what had happened or, or for me to find out what had happened. Um, so again, the more precise you are with that same angle, so what happens is you give your child that photo. This is College Street here uh, in Spadina. Um, so I would give the photo, the original photo with Sacco, and have him position to exactly where that building, that, that picture was. <laughs> then I take that photo, and then when I come back to when the game's over, so we go, we, we go by the photos they accumulated, uh, and then that's how the point system works. And... Uh, and that's Queen's Park. Right? <laughs> he knows Queen's Park. And uh, so, yeah, it says it there too. <laughs> and uh, there, there's um, an amazing thing that I found out. Uh, there was a, a, a great series of photographs at Trinity Bellwoods Park, and I didn't realize it was like, like there was an entire, this beautiful Gothic or, or Victorian palace right in the middle of where we go drinking in the summer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and that's Queen Street, which is like, I don't know what happened to that building, so I'm still trying to find out what happened to it, but it'd be great if like somebody stood there and took that photo and then came back. So this is a tower on uh, our neighborhood in, in uh, um, Kensington Market. So the challenge of this is to go up to the tower and take that photo. So this photo, if you get it, that's valued at 10 points. So it, it beats out that one point because you have to talk to the fire marshal and, and he'll take you up there. Uh, we went there. 
Yeah, they, he, they won't let us up there. And then another challenge is to go, this is shot from the island, so look at the landscape then, and look, you know, to go back to the island and take a photo from the same spot, uh, there's some good points in that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's all condos now and some hospitals and stuff. So there's the Royal York. And again, this is another challenge. This is, I think, at front in York. So if you manage to somehow get up to the apartment or, or the office tower that's there uh, to take this photo of that corner, um, again, it's to challenge you. It's to push you to learn more about your own city. It's like we all see things from we're walking and we see it. Um, so it's, it's to, and this is the great fire uh, that happened. This is uh, looking up Bay Street, uh, and that's the uh, the old. Uh, oh, I think this, jeez, oh, City Hall. Thank you. Um, and my girlfriend works over here, but yeah, it's it's built. It's built now. Um, so here's a, a great example of uh, you know before and after of the same street. It, it is Queen Street, it's uh, Parkdale looking uh, west. That's the Gladstone that had the thing on the top. It doesn't have it anymore, that's it there, uh, which is where we are right now. Um, so yeah, I get really excited. I'm, I'm like, learn I've lived in this city for over 20 years. So here's me and Sacco on College Street. So here, there's the old photo, here's the new one. And he's holding the old photo. Uh, we discovered, we, you know, we talked about the cars, the difference in cars, uh, what building is there. There used to be an old theater there, which isn't there anymore. Uh, it's a pharmacy now, um, but yeah. So it, it's it's you know it's it's to encourage people to go out and and, and uh, thank to, yeah. Thank you. <laughs>